So we've got um, the Samsung Curved UHD television. It's actually the UE65NU8500T. And what can we say about this? It is absolutely massive. You can see it's actually covering our fireplace and hitting the sofa, it's that big. We've got it face down on the floor at the minute. You have to be very careful because it is curved, obviously. So the midpoint is off the floor at the minute. Um, we've got a huge amount of connectors on the back, as you can hopefully see when I focus this thing in. We've got a HDMI um, connectors here. We've got LAN connectors, so you can put your network connection in. We've got an optical interface, optical out. We've got two USBs. We've got a common interface here. We've got an antenna, uh, cable, uh, satellite connection to, and uh, there's two satellite connections in here, as you can hopefully see on there. So it's got a plenty of connections. Now we're trying to put the actual stand on now because we're not going to put this on the wall. We're going to put this onto um, a normal sort of TV cabinet like this. So we've set the space and hopefully, I mean, this is a little too large for our lounge, I think. It dwarfs our previous television. So we've, we've got three parts. So we've got this foot and then we put this back plate on, which seems to click into place. And then we put that on top like that. So now that is ready, and um, we've got some screws. So we're going to screw this rear section to the actual television now. So that's the next part. So there's the back plate. We slide this part in like that, click it down, and then we've got four small screws which we need to put in there. Then this foot here attaches to that larger piece there that we had before. So we're just going to put the screws in, and then this then connects that way around. But we need to put the television upright first before we do that. So let's get these screws in. So we've got four small Phillips head screws to put in. So that's our next bit. Okay, so now we've got it completely upside down so we can put the bottom on. You can see here there's a hole for where the speaker comes out and we've got the clips that hold it all together. We've got the infrared um, receiver here on the end and you can see the curved nature of this screen. So we're just going to put that back plate on which hides all the um, back of the um, foot and then we're going to put the actual foot on Bill so if you can just grab us the foot now the foot goes with the silver side facing down at this point because we're going to turn it over and now that clicks into here of course us being us we've not read any of the instructions but uh, it's all fairly simple to click together that locks into place and that is your stand so that holds the stand so we're going to turn the television up the right way around now and put it into place now you can see here again this is all upside down at the minute but you can see there's some side panels on and it says do not remove these side panels well it would do if you could read it if you were standing on your head for this youtube video i'll show you but basically we leave these panels on the side until we've installed the television because you tend to just naturally grab the edges of the tele uh, television to carry it and that's going to indent the screen so um, because there's no real border on this screen these are just designed to protect the edges while you're installing it good idea so there's the uh, stand upside down the whole television is upside down let's get it the right way up right so here's the foot and you can see obviously it's only clicked into place and it falls out pretty easily so with my able assistant holding it we've got some more screws another packet of screws here and we have to put those into the foot on this side to hold it in place so I'm just going to do that now all right that's now in place so we have that locked on this is definitely 100% locked in that's screwed in the back plate is screwed in we've got the four screws in there we've got the four screws in here which are put in that hide behind this clever little shield that hides it all and then we have the foot which is this huge piece here Okay, so let's put it into place. I think we're ready to get it locked into place. Okay, what we can safely say there is... Um, <clears throat> it's big. It's big. Perhaps far, far, far too large for this particular lounge. I think if it was on the wall, it would probably be too large as well because it's curved and it juts out quite a bit. I think if you enjoy your television, you're going to like it. But it's... Um, hey, oh, by the way, here are those uh, little pictures on the edge. It says, do not remove until the TV setup is complete so we can peel these off now so if you peel those off bill really slowly and then we'll get this fired up not that i can get around the back of it because it is that big good grief so that's the uh 65 inch i would say if you're going to buy a 65 inch television you're either going to have to 
really enjoy your TV, you're going to have to have a massive, perhaps, gaming room or um, a separate room. Um, to give you some idea on proportions, and here you go, you can see Bill is peeling it off. But um, to give you some idea on proportions, this is actually about the size um, of two doors widthwise, two uh, room doors widthwise. So we're taking off this protective shield so you don't scratch it and we'll see what it looks like.